Yo, yo, what's up, guys? Pastor HD here. I know a lot of you guys basically got segment fault, and that is okay. I'm gonna be basically showing you guys how to make your own Minecraft Pocket Edition server for the latest version of MCPE. You shouldn't get that segment fault, and this is really, really simple, and this is just basically for you guys. I would not make this video if it wasn't for you guys. Let's get straight into this video. So the two things you need to install is basically a Pocket Mine Dash MP, and you need to install ES File Explorer right there. Those two things you need to install, and you're basically set to go. So um, for video purposes, I deleted everything just for you guys because it's so simple. So I'm gonna basically install the APK. All right, and uh, um, I already have. I'll just install it again. And what you need to install is the um, parkmine-mp.far. So let's just install that, you know. Should be pretty easy, shouldn't be too long, depending on your internet connection. And you are basically set to go. So now what you wanna do is basically open um, ES File Explorer. And you should get some props here and there. You know, if you guys just installed it, you will get some pop-ups here and there. Just cancel all that and um, you're basically set to go. So um, it should be installing. Really don't know why it's taking so long, but I'll be right back guys once it finished install. Oh. Okay, never mind. Um, all right, so let's just basically install the APK. There we go. Install. And some of you guys are maybe be wondering what version of Android I'm running. I'm running 7.0, so that's really, really good, and I love it. I mean, my shield has gotten so much faster, so if you guys have a shield, I recommend you guys getting 7.0. It's such a great update. But what you want to do, guys, is make sure you click on open. All right, open the app. And it should be popping up with a little installs here and there. It's not going to pop up with this clean master because I already did this before. I just deleted it and deleting all that jizz and stuff like that. Um, so uh, make sure you guys just, you know, download the stable. Don't download anything else except for stable. So just click on stable and it should be popping you up right here. Um, you guys can adjust all this stuff right now or you could just follow along with me and just do it later on. So I'm going to click on save and um, we are basically are set to go so um i really don't know why it's still right here let me actually just activate the app and go right back into it i don't know if it's still gonna do this all right yeah i don't know what the heck just happened but if it does that guys just leave the app and go back do not click on start do not click on anything what you want to do guys is you can leave the app open in the background it really doesn't matter what you want to do is go into es file explorer and um once you go to es file explorer make sure that you click on the search button it should be on the bottom if you guys are on tablet or if you're on a phone it should be on the top right just type in pocket all right or you can just type in pocket or whatever just pocket all right it should be able to start, find a folder what you want to do is delete the pocketmine-mp.far delete it click on the delete button right there delete it and you're set to go you guys can do this amazing shortcut just by holding on the pocketmine folder go all the way down so it says those three little dots it says more click on add to favorite and just click on go okay i already have this so i'm just gonna basically click okay i don't have to click on cancel and there we go now what you want to do is click on download if i add it to favorite because it's a, it's a really good shortcut i mean it's right here all you have to do is click on it and it should be like that i mean it's, it's really easy i recommend you guys most definitely doing that but what you want to do guys is make sure that you are in favorites tab click on download and as you guys see the uh, pokemon-mp.far you just downloaded cut or copy really doesn't matter you just click on cut go straight back into pokemon and paste it right here now you are set to go to do whatever you want in your server what you want to do is just go on to pokemon and once you open basically pokemon you click on start server now as soon as you click on start server it's going to say unable to start php that's only probably one time it's going to do that click on start server again and it should be starting up like that. Now, if you go into console, you'll see server is starting. Server was started, and it's gonna pop up with all this stuff. This is basically Eli Wing. I was gonna, I actually did some failure attempts because Genesis was just not working. I don't know why it wasn't working, but um, I basically I was like, you know what? Why, why don't you just put this Eli Wing in Pokemon and see if it works? And surprisingly, it work so as you guys see um it says done and that like da, 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 blah, blah. um so what you want to do is just basically go into es file explorer and um you should be seeing all these pop-ups um let's just go to uh, all the way to pokemon um oh there we go there we go we were in pokemon make sure you guys go to your favorite and scroll all the way down and see see pokemon and as you guys see this didn't look just like your genesis server you can put plugins inside of here and there you can put worlds all of that just is absolutely amazing so let me actually hop into the server just to show you guys that it actually works all right as you guys see we are on my so just click on play 
go to friends and you should be seeing a pop-up right here about like one to two seconds right now there we go whatever you're naming to it should be right here so just click on it and it should basically be building terrain now it may take a while around like you know 10 to 20 seconds so i'll be right back guys once it finished building terrain and as you guys see we are on the server i mean this server is so good if, of course if you guys want to op yourself you're gonna have to go to the console and just basically um type op don't know dash or any of that just type in op in your name so like op path rh space path rhd and it should be working perfectly fine and you could do whatever you want on your server now the server is actually surprisingly smooth it might it may not be like this it depends on you guys devices um uh, but yeah, it's just absolutely smooth and wow, I was not expecting it to be this smooth But it's actually really really smooth But once you put those plugins in you already know it's gonna start to get laggy But thank you guys for watching the video if you guys enjoyed this amazing video Don't forget to super smash that like button I mean the amount of support that we've been getting on this channel is just absolutely insane Um, let's try to get this video to at least 20 likes and um, literally it's just You guys have been showing me the most amount of support i've ever seen in my life i mean it's just absolutely insane but um yeah let's try to get this video to 20 likes and please please let me know guys if this actually works for you on your um you know server if your server actually works for you because i'm pretty sure a hundred percent it should work there should be no segment fault any of that and just follow the steps and you should be able to you know run your amazing minecraft pocket server on your device guys